Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 46 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Right now I am replacing my depleted uranium and getting myself more plutonium. This is a process I go through every now and then. Um, eventually I'll probably get around to automating it. Uh, and then you guys just go chill in here for a little bit. And that takes a while to cook up, but it'll get me more plutonium and that'll be a good thing. Uh, that should be the last of that. Nice. No radiation sickness. Cool. All right. Uh, so last episode, we did some cool things over here, right? Um, cooked up a bunch of coke dust in our nice new crusher. We got an industrial squeezer so we could get uh, graphite electrode roads. And we've got these things and we've got all this stuff. And we've got more room in this big room to do more cool stuff. Uh, today, I think we should start working towards chapter 10, this is the technological age, which requires the Neotech Solidifier, which is capable of turning steel into Tech Reborn's refined iron. Cool. So if we look at refined iron, right, uh, we will find that there is refined iron um, from the, electro the electric solidifier. Cool. And we're going to need molten steel, which you can get from the electric crucible or the electric alloy, or which we can combine carbon and molten iron. Um, these are two ways to get steel, but I'm going to go this way. I'm going to melt the steel that we get or already have in the electric crucible. Um, so we're going to need an electric crucible, um, and then we can use the electric solidifier. So let's look up electric, and I'm imagining there's a lot of words that say electric in them um, based on this, but electric alloy furnace, electric crucible, which triggers age nine. Did we make that already? Did I make it for the heck of it? I did. So uh, we've already got that. Nice. So then we're just going to need the electric solidifier. Cool. So uh, looks like we're going to need one of these. You can see when I like build things. Yoinks. So the electric solidifier is also going to need one of these guys. We're going to need an end diamond. Oh, that's such an annoying recipe because uh, I need fire diamonds, which is uh, one flawless diamond and two blaze rods. One flawless diamond. And two blaze rods into a fire diamond. At some point, I'll automate this as well. Because that um, atomic calculator recipe, can't, there's a machine for that. So I should be able to automate it uh, in the event that we want to at some point. Uh, and then we're going to need endstone and obsidian. Cool. You, you, and you. Nice. Which, surrounded by ender pearls. Cool. So solidifier. Uh, needs silver ingot, two mica, and a snowball. So all that should be in place. Electric solidifier. Beautiful. So we've got the crucible and the solidifier. Now these guys run off um, RF. Where do I want them to live is a really good question. Um, do I need this stone separator? I don't know. They could chill in this room because um, they are going to be related to this, right? Crucible and solidifier. So crucible melts the liquids down and solidifier um, solidifies the liquids up. Uh, so let's do it that way. Does that sound cool? And that should be easy to tap into our existing RF power stuff. Uh, so, hey, another instance of this guy disappearing on me. Cool. I don't know why he keeps disappearing. Random items disappear from my inventory, probably because I accidentally put them into the AE system, and that's just my bad. So you guys get power? Beautiful. Redstone flux. Nice. So you're in solidify mode. I guess you can be ingot, nugget, block. I guess we'll do ingot mode. That sounds cool. Um, and you can melt stuff down. Now there's also ways to speed this up too. So let's take a look. So we should have some steel, right? Whatever steel ingot you want, doesn't matter. Uh, if I just dropped some steel in here, it would start processing. It doesn't look like it's working because it's really slow by default, but we can speed this up. It'll, of course, increase the RF per tick. So current energy use, 300 RF per tick. Process time, 938 ticks. Cool. Um, so Neotech, right? That's the mod we're looking at. 
has these core processors, which I'm gonna need two of them, I'm gonna need two of them, I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna need a lot. Do you not stack? No big deal. You can see that they're not really expensive. Uh, but if you get to the octadic level, or octa-core processor level, hey, cool, we've got molten steel. Watch this. You ready? <laughs> so much faster. 1,230 off a tick, but it only takes eight ticks. So I think that's totally within reason. Um, now, let's get eight more of these. And get four more of these. Two more of these, and one more of these. Uh, now, is there like a, I wonder if there's a way to like make it auto output to the adjacent wrench, trash bags, water network, neat stuff for sure. And I wouldn't mind taking a look at some of these things at some point. What upgrades are available here? Processors, memory, power supply, redstone control, network card. Automatic input and output of the machine. So if I get a network card, will that allow it to automatically output? Network card from Neotech. Network card. Doesn't look so bad. Single core processor. And an ender pearl. So if I go stick this guy in here. I'm learning this mod on camera. Hey, look at that. We get a new tab. Neat. Ah, I see. Uh, oh boy. Okay, I see. So you're probably the front. This is a little bit hard to manipulate. Hey, look at that going. Nice. Now if I throw the octadic core capacitor in here, that's going to speed things up again. And we've got refined iron ingots. Sweet. So if I put two more in here, that should get me those two. And we've got a machine frame. I think it's something like that. Triggers H10. You guys ready? Hold on to your hats. Bum ba da da! We got a new trophy! This is the part of the episode where I say I should make a trophy room, and then everybody puts in the comments, Dyer, you didn't make a trophy room yet! You're a terrible player, and we hate you, and we're never watching your videos again. At least, I hope. I hope that last part's not true. But, yeah, eventually. Eventually, we'll get around to a trophy room. Probably, like, the very last thing we do in the series will be to make a trophy room. I don't know. So, my goal long-term for this series, by the way, guys, is um, I want to continue progressing. And, I mean, let's be honest. This place ain't exactly the cleanest bunch of wiring downstairs. Upstairs, I've done actually a decent job of keeping it nice-looking and neat and orderly, right? But downstairs, ho oh, it's a mess. I'm not going to lie. I fully understand and aware. Um, so, ideally, I'd like to rebuild the base kind of from scratch. Uh, somewhere else. I don't know where I would do that. Uh, I'm not saying it would be in a void dimension. Void dimensions are usually easy just because of the way they work. But, um, you know, I, I could just put the base like somewhere else and just build a whole new base um, with the intention of making it look nice. But, you know, because what I've got now is a giant mess. And it would take more effort, I think, to, you know, build out things than it would be to just, you know, start a new. That's neither here nor there. Long story short, we've got Neotech. Hooray! And now we've got Tech Reborn. Double hooray! Remember, Tech Reborn requires EU. RF support is disabled in this pack. Um, so it's telling you my first goal should be an industrial grinder, so you can get additional items from grinding ores. <laughs> I tested, and um, I, I haven't found... I, I might be wrong, but I haven't found anything that I particularly need the industrial grinder for. Because um, the industrial grinder is kind of like a macerator. Like, so I don't know why I need that. You get additional items from grinding ores, but I didn't find anything like too particularly useful. Um, and that's really expensive because you need this multi-block with uh, 18 standard machine casings, which you just saw me make one of, um, and a 3x3 three three on top and bottom, and eight reinforced machine casings. Um, so I just made, no, wait, standard machine casing is machine block with more refined ironing. Well, I get four of them at least from that. And then reinforced machine casings needs steel plates, advanced machine blocks, advanced circuits, um, and then advanced machine blocks needs advanced alloys and carbon plates. Like, blah, 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 blah. long story short, I want, and it doesn't look to be or dictionary, by the way. Like, some things are or dictionary with the Tech Reborn advanced machine block, other things are not, right? Like, we can look at, you know, certain things like iron casings, 
can be either advanced machine block or advanced machine casings. So some things are or dictionary with it, some things are not, at least according to JEI. It typically, I've, I've noticed JEI is right about that. So if JEI says it's not or dictionary, then it's probably not, um, but that's cool. So sweet. How do I have an extra end diamond? Did I make two of them? Oh. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, so I looked at that. So I don't know if I'm gonna make that. Um, Industrial blast furnace, yada, 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 yada. Or you can use an immersive engineering arc furnace, which is a lot faster. Dun, 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 dun. We already did that. Now we can make titanium and bauxite um, and advance the next stage. Hint, you'll also need an electrolyzer. I don't know why that's in parentheses at the end, because that is absolutely the first step to everything in this paragraph. Um, you need an electrolyzer to get certain things. So, for example, um, it's telling me how I can make titanium. Uh, you, the only way to make titanium that I've found is with an industrial electrolyzer and bauxite dust. And um, yeah, so why is that in parentheses at the end of that paragraph? It's a pretty important feature. Uh, the other thing is chrome, uh, which is from chrome dust, which industrial electrolyzer from ruby dust, which you get um, from, I mean, you can drop rubies into that thing. I've also found that it works, I think, either in the macerator or the sag mill, like one of those, yeah, macerator, ruby ore or rubies get you ruby dust. And we have, um, I, I, I think we'll be all right on rubies. 335 Ruby ore. I haven't been processing it and my thing's been running downstairs forever. That's why I kind of like that I'm using the the void ore miner rather than coring a dimension because we're getting all lots of ores, including like ores from the end and ores from the nether uh, that I wouldn't get if I had set up a traditional even quantum quarry. So that's why I kind of like using the void ore miner. I think it's better than the other two. Call me crazy. I'm also getting like nether rack, right? Look at all the nether quartz I have just because I've, I've been processing it, right? Now the quartz gets dumped into here, and we cook up whatever we need. So all around, void or miner, very cool. Um, so let's get the electrolyzer first, right? So electrolyzer uh, will need refined iron ingots. It will need an extractor, 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 and two advanced circuits. Extractors from industrial craft. That's what we have to do. Okay, cool. Um, neat. So we need three extractors from IC2. Sweet, that was uh, pretty easy to do. And then we're going to need, a, at some point, wow, cool, I have a lot of things. Uh, wood, 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 wood. Nice, three extractors, cool. Um, and then the electrolyzer needs two advanced circuits. So we're gonna need one, two. Um, might have, sweet, I do have enough stuff in here for this. That's awesome. Um, I did teach it how to make Palest Crystal, but uh, I didn't need it this time, so that's cool. Really should get around to automating some of the uh, industrial craft machinery type stuff. Um, but we'll get there. Uh, and then finally for the extractor, uh, we need four more refined iron ingots. So let's get steel. And at some point I'll automate these machines, but basically it's steel goes in, refined iron comes out, fully automated. How cool is that? So now we should have an electrolyzer. Beautiful, look at that bad boy. Uh, now this thing says max energy 1000 EU, input rate 120 EU, tier medium. I tested this in a single player world and I hooked it up to an MFSU and it didn't blow up. Just putting that out there. Um, so my question, you know what I don't think I need anymore is this. This was a specific for making steel. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this guy and replace it with the electrolyzer. I don't know that there's many other machines that I'm gonna But, you know, compressor can stay, obviously, because compressor we use for other stuff. Right? Um, and then we can... Uh, your tiles. So let's put away these things that we don't need at the moment. We only have one of those, so let's get a chisel. Oh, my chisel's over here. Whichever one of these is tiles. Uh, 
Uh, I'm totally not finding it. Small tiles. Big tiles. Disordered tiles. Which one of you has tiles? I found it. Yay. So, uh, ultimate exp... Uh, please don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't, didn't blow up. Yay! Everybody's a winner. Cool. Um, so now I can get titanium. Um, so if I grab any and old... Wow, we've gotten 60 bauxite since the last time I checked. That's awesome. Zoinks. Um, we should have some dark steel in here. Though I did process a ton of sand just now. Um, I was uh, noting that I didn't have enough sand, so I threw a bunch of cobble into this up top chest, and now I have lots of sand. Sweet. Uh, dark steel. Let's get ten of you. Because remember, dark steel balls will increase your yield, and it looks like we need a lot of bauxite for titanium. Like, titanium dust... That's why. Uh, titanium dust. You get um, two small piles from 12 bauxite dust. Uh, and you need four small piles. So basically you need um, 24 bauxite dust per titanium ingot. Seems like a lot. All right. Uh, so how are you doing on dark steel? Almost. One more. One more. Let's go. There we go. Um, how about we just burn out? One sec. There we go. Now we're doing the dark steel ball. So that, nice. Will get me lots and lots of bauxite dust. Back in a minute when it's done processing. All right, so that's uh, a lot of bauxite dust. Sweet. Um, so I think I just toss this in here, and then we're gonna need some something something neotech, uh, something something tech reborn. Like I said, mixing up the mods sometimes because I'm a bad person. Ah, tin ingots. We'll get a stack of them. So in theory, I put these two things together, and it should process and get me titanium dust. There's only one problem. I don't, there, there seems to be slots for upgrades, but I haven't figured out from Tech Reborn what item goes in there. Those are Solar Flux Reborn upgrades. Um, there's things, I don't think it's just coolant cells directly. Like, so Tech Reborn is kind of ish, sort of ish, IC2 pre-experimental. Like it's like they, it's like they took concepts from IC2 and um, applied them. So pro tip, don't break this machine with a wrench, with, without a wrench. Um, so you'll find that there's like um, lithium bat packs and lithium batteries and lapatronic, right? Words that sound familiar. Drills and chainsaws and uh, omni tools and jackhammers, apparently. Nano sabers, right? Cloaking device. That sounds cool. Um, and then a bunch of other things. Um, so it's it's not like straight up IC two ish, but it's like the pre IC two days. So I'm wondering if there's a way to speed up this machine. Uh, that would be super cool. I just haven't found anything that looks like it does that. All right, so I don't think there's overclockers in this uh, particular mod, uh, which is a bummer. Uh, but what we're going to do is get some conduits, and we're going to semi-automate this. Hopefully, this is not hard to do. So if I just pop the chest right here and here, and down will be extract on brown, always active, insert on green, and up will be extract on green, always active, insert on brown. Down, there we go, up. Nice, aluminum dust we're getting. So if I were to, um, out of curiosity, what I wanna do, will you try to insert aluminum dust? You do. So I'm gonna wanna filter that so that doesn't go in. You don't even process aluminum dust? Oh look, you wanna do, okay, cool. So let's do this. You're not actually doing anything, right? Let's get a filter real quick. Uh, 
and your extract on the up will be bauxite only and empty cells. Cool. Nice. That should work. And once you filled up the bauxite dust, you should start filling the empty cells as well. Nice. That's what I want to see. So we'll let that just chill for a little bit. And what we should come back to is a bunch of small piles of titanium dust, uh, which as I said, um, you combine this like so. And the only way to process titanium dust, so I tested this, this doesn't work. It says in JEI that it does, it does not. I put it in there, we can even go do it right now. Um, it's like, nope, see? The other way to process it is in a blast furnace from Tech Reborn, which, kind of slow, takes 180 seconds? Yeah, that takes about three minutes, that's right, yes. So three minutes to process that in a blast furnace. You can also molecular transform it into chrome dust, but we'll be into that later, or we can arc furnace it. So keep in mind, three minutes per ingot versus, do, 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 do. I just got two ingots in about 10 seconds. Titanium! Hooray! Uh, so that is awesome. Um, now the next thing, can rubies be chewed up in here? No, we get rubies for that, not ruby dust. Now can rubies be chewed up in here? No. So we don't want to process those in a sag mill. I think what we want to do is process this in a macerator, and that'll get me the ruby dust that I want, um, which incidentally uh, we're going to add to the extract filter on the up because ruby dust is also going to get tossed into here um, so that'll be neat and ruby dust is used to get other things um, ruby dust can get you rubies in an implosion compressor or it can be used to get chrome dust which as we just saw chrome dust can also be molecularly transformed from titanium dust if we want so titanium and chrome are now available to us. What they're used for? Mm -hmm. Beats me. Probably things and stuff? I'm sure I need them for something. I'm assuming some things and whatever. Advanced rocketry related things maybe? I don't know. But we've got them. And I'm making them because I'm told to. I do as is told. Sweet. So lots of this stuff. Ruby dust, it uses nine of them at a time um, to get a single piece of chrome. So, and then chrome dust is kind of the same story. Blast furnace, 221 seconds. So like close to four minutes or nice. See why I made an arc furnace? Four minutes per ingot versus 12 ingots at a time, 10 seconds per operation. Totally worth spending last episode making that. But we've got chrome and we've got titanium. Why? I don't know yet. I haven't read that far ahead. I assume it has something to do with the space age. So let's continue reading chapter 10 for now, right? Later on, you also need to make iridium ingots, iridium you get from sheldonite or platinum. For iridium plates, you need an implosion compressor, which is a 3x3 multi-block of yada yada yada. That says later on though, so like, it's later on that. The other thing, um, so I did mention there's one thing that we need, tungsten steel. You can only make that in the blast furnace from what I can tell from JEI. Um, and we need a lot of machine casings to get the temperature right, and then we have to cool off tungsten steel in a vacuum freezer, which needs a 3x3 multi-block, and, keywords, ice shards from bees which is a bummer. Um, so vacuum freezer, ice shards. So the only way to get that is from bees? Really? You're a terrible person. So yeah, what I need to make is tungsten steel, which can only be cooled in a vacuum freezer, and hot tungsten steel, which apparently can only be made in a blast furnace. Tungsten and steel. Um, so those are things that we need to get to eventually. Apparently scrap boxes will occasionally give me hot stunks and steel, but scrap boxes can give you any item in the game, so it's probably not worth going with. 
However, again, I'm not super sure what I need this for. Um, apparently, tungsten steel plates are used for something. I might need it for, well, that's the extra utilities enchanted ingot. I'm not familiar with that guy at all. I don't know what I need tungsten steel for. Do I need it for the mixed metal ingot from Tech Reborn? No, because I can, okay, so that's not necessarily a necessary thing. Iridium reinforced stone, iridium reinforced tongue steel block. Maybe I need it for that, or maybe I need it for, ooh, the elite smelting factory from mechanism. So it looks like when we get into mechanism, we might need this stuff. Um, so probably not yet, because I believe mechanism is like a ways away still. Yes, that's age 12. So we may not need it yet. All right, so digging through, it looks like you only really need tungsten steel for upgraded high tier mechanism machines, but the lower tier ones, you can still use regular other ingots, right? Only if you wanna get higher tier mechanism machines. Um, and then creative, the creative age, which is, um, you know, this one. So we might not need to do bees just yet. We'll worry about tungsten steel. Cool. So that tells me that we're probably clear, at least for now, of what we need to do to continue in age 10. Like age 10, I'm going to call pretty much done right now. Um, it says later on you're going to need some things, but we don't need them yet. So I'm not going to make them yet until we need them, because why not, right? So that's cool. Part of me wants to start automating some of the things over here. I really, really, really should consider doing that. But for now, we'll hold off, maybe, probably, sort of. I do have um, my smart stuff here, so that's good. Yeah. Maybe I will do some stuff. What I should do is make another metal former um, so that I can do both extruding and rolling modes with automation, um, but hey, you are lowish on, oh right, because you're chewing through power. Um, this guy will, when receiving a redstone, say, hey, you should be transferring, you always on your green cabling, why are you not running? Don't tell me something got derpy here. Hmm. Let's link to online. Are you gaining now? You might be. Are you running? You don't seem to be, right? Always on. Interesting. Back in a minute, gotta figure out why this is happening. It might be P2P. P2Ps have been really funny in this version. Like, I'm almost saying don't use them. But at the same time, it does say energy in is 511 EU per tick, and energy out is fluctuating. So that's interesting. Are you transferring power? Can I read this? Yeah, there's 512 EU per tick traveling across this line. So this thing actually is working. Where am I? Um, this thing is working, but why do you have like an internal buffer of RF? That's weird. And why do you, s okay, so it is saying it's outputting 512 EU per tick. So maybe I didn't, I don't know, I'm confused. I don't know why this looks full. Maybe I would expect this to drain, but oh well. It is working. I think it fixed it when I reset up the memory cards. Yeah, I just reviewed my video footage and it definitely was not happening here. Um, this guy said zero before, so now he's happening. So I don't know if redoing that ME thing worked or not, but it did fix it. Keep an eye on that.
and hopefully it doesn't cause more problems. Anyway, uh, we're cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. We got um, Tech Reborn stuff going, and that's cool. And we've got Titanium and Chrome, which is super cool. Um, that, I'm pretty sure, is going to be necessary for the next age, which I think we'll start on next episode, the Space Age. So pretty much we have to build a rocket and explore the universe, or at least our solar system. Um, so there's lots, I imagine, because I've played... It's advanced rocketry, right? Um, and I've played with advanced rocketry a little bit. You saw me do it in um, the, the series with Bob Marr, where we kind of like built a rocket just for the heck of it, but we didn't really explore the solar system at all. So I'm interested to see uh, how things go. Um, so like this is something I've been looking forward to is properly playing with this mod instead of just like we built a rocket, we completed the quest, let's end the series like we did with that one. So this time it'll be like we built a rocket and we have to go explore other parts of the universe. Uh, or, or at least the solar system, I believe. And um, then we're cool, right? So uh, we'll continue automating, and uh, next episode we'll come back with hopefully starting or getting into age 11, uh, and maybe exploring the galaxy. For now, Daryl20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.